Hi everyone, I'm back. And this time I wanna to talk to you a little bit about my ideal client. And the reason why is because I have had, I've had a lot of clients recently, or potential clients recently, who have felt that they could hire me to do anything that they wanted me to do. Um, and that's not how it works for me because the, my practice is built on years of research and development and personal experience. I have my own philosophies, I have my own ethics, I have my own methods of practicing. So the things that I do are very personal to me and they're also in alignment with my own ethics and my own philosophies. So you can't just look something up on the web, find a spell, and then say, oh, I'm gonna hire Miss Melinda and have her do this for me. Um, I know that it feels like, or we're taught to feel or to believe in this culture that when you hire someone or when you pay someone money, that it means they have to do what you want. But that's not how I work. Um, that's not how I work and there's a reason that I work for myself and it's because I want to be working in spiritual alignment um, for my highest good and for your highest good. So therefore you cannot hire me to do anything that you want me to do. Um, <clears throat> we need to work together. Some cases are very, very straightforward and, and that's fine. Then I, you know, but in a, very many cases or complicated situations, we need to work together. We need to go through a process of discussion. I need to know the background to your circumstances. I need to know some history. I need to know how you got to where you are. Um, I need to, you know, I need to know details of your circumstances in order to best assess what the root of your challenges are and in order to help you have long lasting results that are going to make a difference in your life. Um, working on the root of a challenge is going to offer much, much more long lasting results rather than just addressing the symptoms of an issue. So part of all of that is that you need to be in a mindset where you're willing to take some responsibility for your actions. You're willing to be honest. You're willing to objectively look at your situation, objectively look at your life, and think about your actions and how they contribute to creating your reality. And that doesn't mean that I am, you know, calling someone a bad person or pointing fingers or saying you did this to yourself. It's just how life works. Um, and in order for us to really be empowered, we all need to recognize how we create the re reality around us and the responsibility and the power that we have over creating our lives and creating our realities. So my ideal client is somebody who is ready to at least start thinking about those things and start recognizing those things. Someone who is able to, um, to own up to their issues, to own up to emotional blockages, to own up to past trauma that they need to heal from, to own up to, you know, um, behaviors and habits in a relationship that have contributed to that relationship breaking up. Someone who's able to look at themselves and understand how they could change, <laughs> my cat's going crazy, how they can change to better their lives. Um, and I've just had, there's a lot of people who think that they're going to come to a spiritual worker or a root worker and you're gonna wave a magic wand and you're gonna change their whole life. Well, really it's more about a partnership because a lot of this stuff is starting within you, within your own mind, within your own heart, your own emotions. So this is about a partnership of us working together. Um, you wouldn't you know, drive around in a car with no oil in the engine and bald tires and a smash up windshield and then do a spell for protection while traveling and then and expect that you're going to be safe right so 
in this scenario, you are the car. <laughs> so there are, you know, your behaviors, your actions, your decisions and choices, they need to be in alignment with the work that we're doing together. And if you come to me and you tell me that everything is on the outside of you and it's all everybody else's fault, then that's gonna be a red flag for me and I'm gonna to wanna to talk to you about what's really going on there and get down to the root of the problem. Um, I'm not saying there aren't things outside of us that are not our fault, there definitely are, but it's typically not everyone is against me all the time and nothing is ever my fault. Um, the other thing is, you know, if I make suggestions about how your work should be done, or I bring my expertise into how I feel your work is going to be most effective, then I really need you to work with me on that. This is not a scenario where you hire me, you tell me how to do the work, you tell me what you wanna tell me, and then you know I wave a wand and your life is better. That's not how this works. So I do have a, an ideal client and I do have um, I do have parameters of my working relationship and I will draw the line at times as needed and I will not work with people who are not willing to work on themselves. And that is one of the reasons that I'm doing more teaching, more coaching, more um, guidance sessions, more things of that nature because I see how important it is to really help people change their perspectives about the power that they have over their own lives and the power that they have over their own realities and how they can influence these things by just tweaking their thinking, by just living more consciously. And sometimes it's really as simple as starting a couple of small meditation routines or learning to do some really simple energy work. And a lot of this stuff is not hard. It's, it's not hard at all. It's just a matter of being dedicated to it, saying I'm gonna sit down every day and I'm gonna do this exercise. It's just a matter of consistency and that's it. It's a matter of consistency and being willing to try new things, being willing to put your faith out there. I've had some people say that they're afraid that they're going to try to do these things to change their life, that they're going to try to do these meditations or they're going to try to learn this energy work and then it's they're afraid that it's not going to work, that it's not going to change them or it's not going to change their lives. But that is just, um, first of all, it's fear. First of all, if you say something to me like that, then I know that fear is your number one blockage. You're afraid you're not good enough or you're just afraid, right? There's something going on there, so that's the number one thing that needs to be tackled. Second of all, that's just not how the universe works, right? Every action has an equal reaction, or another way to look at it is every, all the energy that we put out there, it, it never goes away, it turns into something else. Like, everything that we do is going to have an effect. So even if it doesn't have the effect that we want it to have, it's going to somehow change things. It's going to somehow cause us to grow. Even if it just shows us, hey, that technique is not right for me, it's still teaching you something. It's teaching you to keep looking for a new technique. So it's going to affect you some way, somehow, and all it takes is the dedication. It's not hard to meditate. It's not hard to learn energy work. And I'm just seeing more and more that people need to be guided to learn these things on their own. So I'm very happy to be helping people with that. Does anybody have any questions? I mentioned in my other videos that I'm going to be making several videos. I think I have like two more topics that I want to cover tonight. I'm going to jump off for a short break in a moment and then I'm going to come back and talk about some more stuff. Unless anybody has any questions right now. Okay, thanks so much for joining everyone. I appreciate you watching. Have a blessed evening.